out in these streets. I don't get no sleep. Bitch, we play for kids. What it was doing is uh, I went to the richest, um, richest street in, in London and I gave out my uh, leaflets and, and uh, business cards to people I met and uh, threw a post for my startup. I think it's the best thing to do. I mean, well, Sunday today, who's going to answer my emails? No one. So one thing that I realized, right, is that there's so many non-news places. So many. Look at this place. You can have so much money that you can only be in one place. So if you bought like six houses, you can't be everywhere. It's important whether you're rich or you're trying to make it to have goals. I've decided to do some old school, you know, 1985 marketing. So I printed some um, uh, leaflets out and uh, some of my cards. And then I went to one of the most uh, expensive streets in London and I started. I'm not expecting any. Um Big things happen, but I believe in serendipity. You believe in serendipity? Do you? Do you? <laughs> Giving leaflets out. I know that's really old school. It isn't small, but when you're a startup, you gotta do everything. It's Sunday. I realize that people aren't in their office or business, so they're at home. So I went to their house basically and given leaflets out and go and meet people. And I realized one thing: when you finally get a lot of money, yeah, a lot of money. This is what happens. You have so many places and things that you can't even use all of them, so they just become abandoned. This place is like kind of like 14 million pounds or something like that. All night in the street.